Did you know that the Wool Warehouse now has its own brand of sock yarn? I ordered some of their new Yarnsmiths Merino Sock Yarn. Let's take a look and see if it's worth adding to your stash. The first thing that you notice when you order yarn from the Wool Warehouse is it comes in these gorgeous organza bags that you can then reuse as a project bag. So I love ordering from the Wool Warehouse. I get almost all of my yarn from there. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So I ordered three colours, two, two solid and one of their prints in kind of autumnal colours. So I've got a mustard, a mustardy yellow and then a pumpkin orange, gorgeous colour. And this one is um, kind of like a, um, a speckled, self-striping um, yarn. Some of them, some of the yarns they have are solid stripes and some of them are this kind of speckled stripe effect and it's got that kind of orange and mustard in there with a bit of grey. I must say they they actually feel incredibly soft. Very soft, very, very squishy, <laughs> very soft. I'm very impressed with the softness so far. Let me put my glasses on and we'll have a look. So it's Yarnsmith's Merino Sock Superwash. So you can wash this. So there are 100 gram balls, 75% merino wool and 25% nylon. And where's the yardage? 400 meters and 437 yards. Now I have got quite quite a big stash of, of sock yarn. Um, but I'm quite ashamed to say actually I've never made a pair of socks. I did try once. I spent many hours faffing around on double pointed needles and by the time I finished one sock I just really could not be bothered to make another one. So uh, perhaps I should move on to maybe uh, trying some crochet socks next time. But what I do make with sock yarn um, are scarves and shawls and I think the benefit of this merino yarn is going to be no itchy neck. No itchy neck at all. So I'm really going to uh, enjoy making something with this. I'm, I'm probably going to make a scarf or a shawl with it. So if it's a crochet one, there will be a tutorial. So keep watching these videos. But if you got your hands on this yarn, what would you make with it? Let me know in the comments below. Now on their website, they have got so many colors to choose from. I think it's something like 50 solid shades to choose from, which is a huge, huge amount of choice. They've got some gorgeous colors on there. I will link, um, the yarn in the description. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I did purchase this yarn myself um, and it does, feel, it does feel incredibly soft and very squishy. So really, we need to see how it crochets up. So I've gone ahead and crocheted a small triangle swatch. And as you can see, I well, I, I went for the, the, the self-striping one because I wanted to see how the, how the patterns would work, work up. And you can see how beautiful it looks very very pretty i'm loving the colors and obviously it starts off where you start off with the small triangle you've got the the thicker stripes and as the triangle grows the stripes get thinner so i do have an idea to make to, to use all three of the yarns um in a shawl which uh i'm looking forward to getting started on now that i've made this video i can get started on with the shawl so overall i am very impressed with their sock yarn and i would definitely recommend it I do have a blog post uh, that accompanies this video, so you can go and check that one out as well. And if you would like to see more yarn videos, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Bye-bye now.